recording. Yeah. So today we will make a slow motion effect in our game. So for that, what we need to do is uh, first of all, we will make a slow motion. Uh, what we can make it like a script. There will be a script and uh, we can jump into the game manager script. And in this script, we can make a bull slow motion if whenever the slow motion bull is true okay whenever the slow motion bull is true so game will be slow okay so let's check it out so first of all for that we have to make a bull and we can call it public we are making a bull this one bull bull okay yeah this is a bull this is a uh, false or it will be false or it will be true it will be only two well it, it, it's take only two values true or false okay so we can write a slow motion like this okay and okay this one we have created a bool so now you can see in our game manager there is a bool created slow motion okay you can make it true or you can make it false this check means it is true this mean it is false false yeah so in fix update function there is an update function but we will do it under void fix update function okay so we will just uh, write down this script okay and like this so what we will have what we will do this is just for understanding commented okay so what we will do over here we will make if slow motion is true is equals to true okay so the time will be normal This is a normal time to make a normal time. Slow motion actually, uh, we are getting uh, the time functionality in Unity system. This is a time class, okay? And there is a table of time that how, what is the uh, per second frame? So we call it one second right now this is this is normal time but uh, if it is true so we have to slow motion if true so we don't we have to make a slow motion okay so this is this is a normal so whenever that slow motion is true okay we have to uh, <coughs> Divide it like this, the 0 0.5. So there is, uh, it is goes like uh, over here. Okay, we have to add a five F. Okay. So what's what does it mean? <clears throat> the time is a variable, a function in Unity system. You can see over here we can uh, i think it is in preferences or we can time scale we can check it out where it is ui scaling external to not at all not, not over here i think it is under project setting now 
yeah you can see the time the time scale is one by default okay, okay. You, you understand so this is the uh, like a framework in unity there is also a time in unity you can see over here a time this is by default in every project there is a time okay and the default value of time scale is one and one is a, a time duration of seconds okay so once it is it is normal like a second one second okay so we are if we play a game and now if you can see this uh, the obstacle this is which is moving right now okay it it will also change it will be also change if i change this one value 0 0.5 okay it is not changing uh, no, because because of because of this actually i have added this value so comment it down because right now the slow motion is uh, uh, is false over here slow motion is false. if i uh, make it true so now you can see it's slow down it's very very slow now okay so let's let's i can uh, i should show you how it, it is working now okay i just committed everything i have committed everything and over here you can comment it and go back to the project <clears throat> okay now when i run the project and the obstacle is working fine. And once yeah. I open the project setting, okay, here you can see in the added project setting, you can open this and you have to select the time. And if you make it zero, so everything is, is stopped. Everything is stopped. Yeah. Nothing will work. But, but it should work. It should move. Because, so, because it's supposed to be in slow motion, not zero motion. <laughs> yeah it will not work because, yeah. because everything is freezes so if we should put it like 0 0.5 if if i go with the 0 0.1 value then you can see it is too, moving very slow. very slow yeah it's too, very too slow, slow yeah yeah it's too slow so if i put 2.5 yeah so we can we can also yeah that's it so now what what uh, what we have to do we have to uncomment this values and we can make this uh, like 0 0.25 okay mm -hmm. okay and whenever okay so now the thing is mm -mm -mm. so now what we have to do as we have to make it true and false, okay? And we have to make it true for at least like two seconds, okay? So for that, what we have to do, we have to make a method now. Right now we can, we can right now we can uh, slow motion by manually. We can do the slow motion effect manually by clicking over here, okay? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That that's one. Okay. That's okay. So now we yeah. have to now we have to make a method. So for that we have to make a i numerator numerator and start slow mo like this and okay yield return new wait for seconds. Okay, after one second, after one second, slow motion is equals to true. Okay, and after we make it true, the bool is slow motion bool is true. So after two seconds, most probably, 
we can make it false to return it to normal position okay to the normal time to come back to the normal time okay and whenever public we have to make public we have to make this function public because we have to use this function from can script okay so if it is a bomb can first of all uh, go to the game manager dot instance and now okay for we have to make a method if you want to run this uh, i enumerator function so you have to use the start coroutine and under this we can call this function that slow mo function dot start slow mo start slow mo like this and we can also we can also make a debug a debug value debug dot log in our console that slow mo started like this and then we can also make another slow mo ends right so what will happen what will happen whenever the bomb is true whenever we hit the bomb can so it will call okay. it will it will call slow mo slow mo method in in game manager class okay and this is a way we are uh, calling the start slow mo function you can double click it and you can go to the de definition so you can see this method this is easy that it is combined with that method go to implementation and you can see that it has one reference you can also see how how many classes or, or how many uh, programming code are using this method so you can see okay this uh, is the place where this function is is called so now let's play the game and see what will happen okay so now the time scale is 1 yeah and now you can see everything is slow yeah slow and falling down okay so i think yeah everything is perfect but the thing is we should not wait for one second i think uh, 0 0.25 or 0 0.2 is enough after one second is not good or 0 0.1 actually is perfect and the two second is too much so we can go with one second only so let's check it out now because the slow motion effects uh, shows after one second it's not good okay so let's see now okay no yeah yeah so the one second is too much we can go with 0 0.5 second because because uh, 0 0.5 because the time scale is already uh, already having a small value 0 0.25 okay so that's why we have yeah. we have to use a small value so now let's see how it's work yeah it's fine now yeah. okay so if you have a time so we can add sounds effect or we can see uh, like in your system that the environment is uh, 
environment is uh, set up in your unity engine so for that what we what you have to do you have to go under your preferences and in the external tool okay in the external tool you have to see this jdk is installed in your system or not so i think if you have some time so i can show you how to uh, add a sound effect in this game and that is pretty simple you know that so what is your suggestion mm. is it okay if we can put like a background sound like uh, the game uh, background not music. only there for the yeah, background music not not only like for effect sound i meant like just like for entertainment you know yeah, yeah i got it so for that what we have to do we have to open tree sound tree sound dot org yeah this is a very very good website you have to sign up over okay. here you have to sign in okay and you can use so many uh, bg sounds and you can search over here and uh, bg sound number two Can you hear this? No. No, I can not hear. Okay. I can see it working, but I can't hear anything. Yeah, this one is fine. I can send you a link over here. Maybe we can, you can see it if I go to setting audio. System sounds, I think system sounds should be integrate. Okay, no problem. So what we will do, I like this one and I just hit the download button. Okay, and this is 671 KB. And- Is the size good? Yeah. Okay. This is very small size, no problem. We can save it to desktop, start download, open folder. And we got the file. Okay, where is the folder? Yeah, here is the file. So we can change it to BG music, the name of the file and we can just drag and drop in our project folder like this okay and now we can create a folder for like sounds and then we can put like the sound of the when it's uh when you knock the the uh, the account accounts the sound of uh, when it's exploded that kind of thing yeah something like this so now yeah and also for for the obstacle, you can like add like s s soft wind sound, you know, because it's moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can add that. The soft obstacle sound. Yeah, you are right. So we can add that later, but now we have to add this one. So for that, we have to add our audio source. And over here, we can BG music. And over here in the audio source component, we have to drag and drop like this. And in the BG music, we can come optimize this one. Okay. Right now the original size is 0 0.7, imported size is 0 0.5. And the quality, if I go with the 50% quality and hit apply. So the imported size is 266 KB. It is fine. So now whenever the game is started, this music will be started. 
and whenever it's finished, it will start again. If I check the loop, okay. The loop means uh, running again and again. Again, again, yeah. Yeah. So when I hit the play button, I think I can send you the sound. WhatsApp maybe. Yes. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You can make your ring tune. This is it looks perfect. So one one more thing we can add a uh, head obstacle. Head sound, something like. Only head is fine. And we'll uh, write short first. Yeah, like this. Unfortunately, I can't hear anything. So like all on you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, this one is, this one seems better as compared to other. So we can download this and first uh, rename it. So we cannot uh, mix them up. Yeah, mix them up. Hit and just yeah, over here for Android 50 apply. And now, what we can do is uh, we can also add this uh, to the cans or we have to add it to the cans like this or yeah i think this is fine audio source select all the cans and you can write a uh, audio source and just drag and drop over here and make sure to uncheck play on awake okay because otherwise it will play without any reason. Okay. Uncheck, yeah. We just wanted them to uh, play whenever the ball hit it. When get. Uh, yeah, yeah, when the ball hits that can. Only that time. Audio source, yes. Uncheck the play on awake and add the hit sound. So now, uh, what we can do in the can script, whenever the ball is collided so we can make a get component and audio source and in the method we can just play play it like this so it will work <clears throat> and also i can show you how to make a uh, Android build. Okay. I cannot hear that. So I have to remove the background music. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my God, I cannot hear this sound over here. It's too small. That's why. So I have to delete this one and get another. Yeah, this one is also good. Download this one. Two. Yeah, something like this. And now we have to add this to all our points. Like this and save the project and hit play. yeah that sound is done so also we can add uh, uh, something like uh, blasting sound in our game and so on so now okay bg music should on and the volume should be uh, okay 0 0.25 so it will not disturb the user so it will be by default a very low music Yeah, zero point one five. So now I will show you how to make a Android build. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or uh, I can stop this lecture. Or we can make another lecture. Uh, or... Is it okay? Uh, on Saturday we can continue uh, for the Android uh, lecture and also uh, how to uh, to uh, include ads for the game. Yeah, yeah, definitely we will do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this Saturday. Okay, no problem. Thank you okay. for the class.